Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist, here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, nutrition, well-being, amazing people and events. Today I am joined by the lovely Wendy Wolf, who is Gentle Yoga with Wendy Wolf. Uh, Wendy does yoga in Mayapak, in Sarah's House of Health, as well as private sessions and one-on-one, -on -one, and works with many, many different groups. Welcome, Wendy. Thank you. Nice to be here. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, when I took place in one of your sessions over the lake, it was just so absolutely beautiful. And I was amazed that um, it was just so relaxed and gentle. Um, please tell me about your approach. Well, <clears throat> my approach to yoga is uh, that uh, it's more about connecting to your body than the exact pose, getting the pose perfectly. That's not important. Um, it's noticing how you're feeling, noticing your body. It's more about body awareness. Um, uh, yoga can be for everyone. It's not just for thin and fit people. Um, Which and is very it has important. many, many benefits. Many benefits. Uh, mental and physical. Right. And um, all the poses can be modified right. to, for anyone. Right. So you can have do yoga on a chair. You can do it on the floor. <laughs> sure. Um, sure. And, it, and you can address and help so many different groups. You shared with me that you help people with fibromyalgia. You help people with Parkinson's disease. You help people with MS. You help people to regenerate and enhance their health as well as people with cancer. And a lot of people aren't aware because you ha you're a certified movement uh, analyst background as well as certified yoga instructor. So you have a great deal of experience that you offer to people. And uh, it's one, like I said, it, I felt I've had yoga experiences in the past um, at uh, established institutes and, and places. And they, ha they can very much be intimidating if you don't do everything, every position per with perfection. And being a perfectionist myself, I find that that can be very overwhelming. Um, that where I found uh, in your session, it was at Sarah's House of Health, it was just so beautiful and the energy was so beautiful and tranquil and serene. And there was a social environment, but it was very relaxed. And you could see that you were very qualified and had a great deal of training behind you uh, in, in yoga, but even though it, you came across very gentle. So. I really feel it's very important for people to accept their body and, and not, we are a society of very critical of our, ourselves, and especially women on how they look. It doesn't mean that you don't want to make changes for health reasons, right. but um, to uh, self-acceptance uh, is really a part of the work that, that I'm involved in. Sure. And um, I want people to feel comfortable, and it's, it's not about, it's not competitive. It shouldn't be competitive. Right. But there is a lot of competition in the so-called yoga world. Yeah. Um, but yeah. um, I, I really try to downplay that. And mm -hmm. as a matter of fact, I do often encourage people to, to uh, move with their eyes closed, so not to be looking at what the person next to you is doing. That's not important. That is but so it's really valuable. connecting inside with yourself. Right. When I came to your session, I didn't feel that, that feeling. I felt that everyone was themselves. You told them to wear what you want. And there was, there was structure, but it was more laid back. So everyone was uh, exercising and moving, but they weren't at a strenuous level. Everyone went at their own pace. So I wanted people to be aware that there are different types of yoga and in your space whether at Sarah's House of Health or your home or privately, that you have that talent to make people feel at home in their own bodies. And uh, it's probably from your extensive uh, training in New York City, right? What, what yes. Did you, what did you do? You were certified? Uh, I'm a certified movement analyst, and um, I trained at the Laban Bartini of School of Movement Studies. Mm -hmm. um, and that was before I ever did yoga. Uh, but there was a lot of overlap with yoga. Mm -hmm. um, we took anatomy classes, and wow. uh, interesting. there was a lot of um, 
noticing connections between different parts of your body right. when you moved and, sure. um, and observing people moving sure. on breathing and relaxation and right. so it, it was very it was a very intense program but mm -hmm. it connects a lot also to my yoga training so I feel like I can draw on both of those trainings absolutely you know. and, and you're also a certified yoga yes yes, yes. Yeah. And you taught at, you, you uh, received your training at the Phoenix? Phoenix Rising Yoga Therapy, uh -huh. which was in Vermont, but now they are in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. And that's a and wonderful place. Yes. Really wonderful And place, you also yeah. learned from Kapala. Yes, yes. Yes. I took some teacher trainings at, at Kapala. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. And do you find um, water, do you find it's essential to drink water after or before yoga or during? Oh, I certainly after, but mm -hmm. I think it's good if you if you you can drink it during, before, right. and any right. time. I mean, right. I'm and a person who needs to drink water a lot, so <laughs> I, I'm, I always have my water bottle. With you me. have a, just to keep your. I, yeah. I tell my patients to just generally to keep your cells and your body uh, and muscles hydrated. Yeah, uh, with sufficient fluids. And yeah. also, what was thought was interesting is you had different modalities for different people. You had the ball for one. You had the blanket for another. You had yes. so many different things uh, for yes. so many different people. So I use a lot of props because, mm -hmm. uh, like you know, I have a, a student who has some knee issues. Right. So for her, uh, being in child's pose right. it hurts her knees. So right. we do something different, sure. and we use some of the props to right. to help her get the same benefit. Right but in a different position. Sure. Um, sure. And I don't believe in the one size fits all yoga. Mm. It's I like that. all our bodies are different yeah. and they're going to respond differently. Yeah. And I like so that. um you know different people need to do it in different ways. Right. And also um right. right. I also really encourage my students to listen to their bodies mm -hmm. and uh, they are their greatest teacher. Mm -hmm. Um, right. And, uh, of course, I notice things right. and can share what I notice, right. but they in the, ultimately they're in their body. Right. And I never want a student to do something they're not comfortable with. I always tell my students, you know, I don't believe in the no pain, no gain. <laughs> so <laughs> if you feel like you're not, you might injure yourself, don't do it. Do something else or let me know and I'll make a suggestion. Right. Um, right. And certainly effort is fine and working your muscles hard is also fine, but mm -hmm. you don't want to, to put pressure on your joints. Right, right. And tell so. me about chair yoga. I felt that very fascinating that yeah. you work with that. Well, um, so for people who are maybe not ready to go into a, a class where they're lying on the floor, because my regular classes we do sitting, standing, sitting on the floor, lying on the floor, maybe going on all fours like a, a table. Um, and um, that may be hard for them to get down to the floor. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, we can start in a chair and we can do things sitting, but we can also um, stand and use a chair to hold on to for balance if they need it. Right. Right. And um, like I have a client now who has some mobility issues and walking is hard. He walks with a cane. And so I, right. I start on the chair. Now right. we do get up to standing, but he always holds on to a table or, or a chair, right. you know, um, right. so that he has that extra stability. Wonderful. And then sometimes people will move from a chair class into a regular class. But all my classes are gentle. Um, but a chair, a chair class is, is maybe a little more gentle. <laughs> yeah, and you also work uh, periodically for support connection. Yes. Why is yoga important for, for that? Well, Support Connection is a wonderful organization yes, it is. Um, that helps women who've had breast, ovarian, and gynecological right. cancers. And all the classes are free for your general well-being, right. Ex um, exactly. both your physical recovery right. and also the mental recovery. Right. Um, right. Yoga is so helpful for stress and anxiety. Right. Um, it's very calming. The breathing, right. um, meditation part of it. Right. Um, right. And I try to... Uh, some people do meditation just sitting, but I find that 
uh, it's very helpful to combine moving with meditation because as you move, you're opening up different parts of your body. Interesting. Bring in meditation mm -hmm. in that way. Mm -hmm. um, so some of the people from Support Connection have been coming for like 15 years oh, to the classes, Wendy. and they that's great. they are in recovery, yeah. but in remission, but they still get a lot of benefits from being there. I'm sure they do. Yeah. And, and you were gifted. I remember when we went into a meditative state in the beginning of the session and I was yeah. almost falling asleep. You, your <laughs> voice was so calm and melodic and, and very peaceful and going in that gradual transition. And I'm sure it's uh, the culmination of your uh, being certified in movement as well as certified yoga instructor and, yeah. and your so much different levels of teaching. Yeah. And you also share with me you do workshops from time yes. to time. Yes. So the workshops, um, they're usually at least two hours, mm -hmm. and I call them either relax and renew or self-discovery through yoga, and they go a little deeper. Sure. Um, it's more, I do guided reflection, and right. I often use some themes. So um, one theme could be acceptance, noticing what you accept about yourself and right. what you resist accepting. And, Which is so valuable. And uh, acceptance doesn't mean you can't change, right. uh, it, but it means that, in order to change, you have to accept what is right now. You got it. And um, it's very, very important. Yeah. And being able to just uh, respect and be true to your body and yourself. Yeah. And you do a phenomenal job of it. And uh, I felt it an honor to take part in one of your classes. Oh, well, I'm so glad it you was could great. come. I want to uh, thank you so very much. Oh. For, uh, for being on my show and sharing with viewers. Uh, you are so talented and help so you. many people. Thank you so much. Thank you. So remember when you eat well and feel great, uh, it's something you want to do for the rest of your life. Physical activity and just eating great foods, you're just better as a person. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Have a good night.